Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this uh, old video you're gonna find a two brief uh, readings which are career and relationship to your representative star sign that refers to the week 13th to 18th of July 2020 and uh, as usual if you do want a personal reading you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And another thing is that I have um, made the tarot class, the tarot class a flash sale, but I never announced it to you. So you who are following me on YouTube, you never knew about that. It's thirty percent off, and in order to get to this uh, to this sale, uh, you have to message me on my uh, Facebook page, and I'm gonna sort you out from there. So uh, with uh, that being said, the sale is uh, on for one more week. And with that being said, laid back and enjoy the show. All right, Virgo, so let's, uh, let's have a look, guys, what you are to expect in the upcoming week. Uh, in regards to career and relationship, now the first one we're going to have a look at, that is going to be uh, your career. So let me shuffle and let's see what you're going to get. Right, so the first one here that we do have, that is going to be the King of Cups. Uh, moving next, uh, we do have the King of Wands, uh, followed by uh, the Seven of Pentacles. And uh, moving next, uh, that will be the Two of Cups. So, uh, well, that week, uh, it's all about, uh, in terms of career, is all about uh, e-cooperation. Now, the first thing that comes to my mind when I look at those cards, it is where you're going to be torn apart in between two individuals one that wants to keep you at their at their side and ones that wants to attract you at their side okay so a uh, trivia way of how this thing uh, plays out is when you do have a job and suddenly you do have another offer uh, that you are torn should you take it or not so it is because you don't want to disappoint your current uh, provider but you do want to take the opportunity, okay? So ultimately, at the end, whichever you decide in favor of, uh, it will lead to a beautiful partnership. And even if you do, because that decision is entirely up to you, in fact, the cards are pointing that you shouldn't make any decision whatsoever, uh, but instead wait and, and enjoy at the place where you are at. But what the cards are pointing it is that by the end of the week, uh, people will realize how valuable asset you are at the place that you are uh, that you are standing and how important you are for the for the job that you're doing and that will contribute for a better harmony in between the relationship of your co-workers and you uh, in between your supervisor and you as well uh, now another thing that these cards are pointing it is that something is cooking for you that is and it's going to be a good thing though uh, <clears throat> how can I say it mm like a uh, some kind of a uh, new project or a new department that may open uh, whatever uh, that is further into the future and right now you are uh, considered to be a part of this thing now when that thing is going to open around i cannot say but just so you know that there is a plan for you or there are plans for you into the uh, into the job that you are currently residing in now those that are a uh, looking for job uh, well those cards are pointing that you are should you look for a job there are going to be offer okay a, a business offer addressed towards you now because that's a general reading uh, but seriously guys you have to start a uh, looking um, i mean you, you can't expect that the job is going to come itself on its own accord so should you start applying for a job there uh, there definitely should be a, a a job offers a by the end of the week and uh, what the cards are promising here it is that uh, each one of them is going to offer you a, a really good experience in a sense of that the, the co-workers that you're going to work with are going to be nice and the collective is going to be nice the environment is going to be nice and in generally we're talking about a beautiful partnerships that are forming for you Virgo in the upcoming uh, in the upcoming week now the only downside of your career it is that uh, the your supervisor or your boss may be more demanding than before and at some points you know their demands may be um, 
hands down ridiculous and out of out of reality in a sense of that you won't be able to accomplish nobody will be able to accomplish those demands and you may face a little bit of a cruelty there in the sense of that you may be pointed with a finger that you could not get the job done but again nobody could have okay so it's very important here not to blame yourself uh, for it and so that refers to your career a, a fantastic partnerships guys uh, and really good experiences in between you and your co-workers and as well like I said in terms of a uh, looking for a job uh, should you apply for jobs definitely you should uh, by the end of the week have a few offers not if not one at least few offers uh, to start a, a job now how good those offers are going to be well that is up to you to decide so let's uh, have a look now uh, what awaits in terms of a relationship for you Right, so the first card that we do have for your relationship, that is going to be the Two of Swords. Moving next, we do have the Lover's card, followed by the Queen of Swords. And the last one here, we do have the Five of Wands. So, Virgo. Um, uh, so, uh, you are to be somewhat taunted throughout the week itself, like taunted from your person of interest, taunted from your partner uh, or from your husband or wife regardless. And it's very important not to answer the call, okay? You have to remain as calm, as calm as possible. You are to be provoked to make some kind of decisions, to, uh, to decision to address some kind of a uh, intimidation, if you will, or some kind of, uh, it's, not, it's not going to be aggression, it's going to be more like an ultimatum. And it's very important not to address it, okay? It's very important to leave the things as the things are, do not make any definitive decisions, because at the end, throughout this, uh, throughout this week, the, there will be a, uh, an elimination process, okay? And at the end, um, you will be able to, uh, because there will be a turnaround, okay? There will be a, an, an, an enormous surprise. Uh, whatever you and your partner or your, uh, your suitor or whatever thought that it is the only logical right decision, by the end of the week, that thing is going to go to scrap, okay? Something else is going to take the lead there as a uh, option available, as a way through, you know, as a, a decision. And that's why it's very important not to make your choice at the start of the week because it's going to be the wrong choice. Uh, the circumstances are going to change, the situation is going to change, and, uh, you know, by the end of the week, something else is going to be on the... Um, on the front page, if you will, than the thing you thought that is going to be at the start of the week. Now, um, unfortunately, as we do have the lover's card here into the second position, um, it's, uh, th th that card points that there are going to be a lot of issues that are re-immersing in a sense of, you know, issues that you may have previously and you thought that they are pretty much buried and that they are resolved. Uh, they will re-immerse and that, that itself is going to cause the whole provocation and the whole ultimatum, if you will. And uh, uh, if you are wondering, do you have the... Uh, the strength of mind because this is what it takes the strength of mind and the strength of spirit to hold on or rather like to hang in in there until the right moment comes yes you do guys i mean yes you do no questions about it uh, that is described here by the Queen of Swords sitting into the third position but by the Two of Swords which is at the start it means that this week you should not make any move, even if it seems that that is the only right choice for you to do or the only thing that you can do to make a move, to make a decision, you should not make that decision because things are going to change rapidly. And once again, what looks to be beneficial at the start of, of today, it, may, it will look very unbeneficial at the end of this day. Uh, 
another thing it is that uh, with this uh, with this particular uh, reading throughout this week again you should not make up your mind about should you stay or go you should not make up your mind about filing for divorce nor you should make up your mind committing into a relationship uh, because the right approach is anybody's guess once again and uh, this week especially for those who are finding themselves in a very deteriorated state of their relationship that week may offer them exactly what they need as a mean in order to recuperate that relationship okay so if you thought that everything is lost well throughout this week you have to think again and that is exactly the turnaround the surprise that is going to give you a new fulcrum for you to think of before you actually make your definitive decision. Those, however, who are looking for a, a relationship, should they find a, a person of interest and a suitor, someone that's uh, kind of like poses interested, interest to them, is going to be the last person they are expecting. So that being said, this was your a, a weekly title reading Virgo. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. Uh, and uh, hopefully we're gonna see each other around. Until then. Bye.